I like to get to know you so I can show you. Blah, 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 blah. Do you want to buy tango there some water? I don't know the rest of the lyrics, bam, bam. Hi, my name is Brittany Gibson, and I'm the Features Editor of the Daily Targum, and I'm here with psychedelic rap group, Cook Douglas, talking about their new release, Money. Hi, my name is Jean-Louis Droolers, and I'm one of the frontmen of Cook Douglas. I'm James Merkins, I play guitar, and I also produce the band. Uh, and I'm Keith Lally, I produce beats as well, and I play drum. Five, we've been a band for five years and we've dropped one thing every year. So 2013 was Space, 2014 was Spontaneous Mixtape, 2015 was Time, 2016 was Vacation Blend, and now 2017 is Money. Money starts off like most Douglas albums do. It's like Jerry comes in and there's like some really crazy instrumentals that are really experimental and offbeat. Yeah, big crazy intro. And then and then we also have that soft love song. And then we have a song together. And they're like more they're you know revamped to the next level, but there's still that idea of like you know starting from the bottom, like rough around the edges, uh, of classic old Douglas. And then rebranding comes in, yep. and that's where the album just takes a 360 and becomes what it is really, yeah. and that's like us mm -hmm. dealing with the construct of like, the <laughs> core there's a music industry out there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. You know, money started to be take on all these other meanings as we're making money. We're all like, oh, we need to make money. To keep making money. <laughs> yeah, and, yeah. And, and and a lot of the songs are plagued with that sort of like. You know, uh, the idealization of like fame and success and wanting to, you know, wanting to have that, but also being honest with who you are and how one affects the other or takes over the other. And once you're thinking about an audience and what you want to portray and, and what your brand is and what you want to tell people, yeah. how much that almost just puts a cover on your music that then makes it even less relatable. You know, it's like, how do, how does, it's success versus integrity. Yeah. is what I always come back to, yeah, so what the struggle is with that. And then I think rebranding, you guys always have a few tracks on every LP where you kind of break the fourth wall and you're almost talking directly to whoever's yeah, listening sure. to the album. And so rebranding really captures all of that. Could you speak a little more to um, the views and the lyrics that are, you know, they're kind of cynical towards capitalism and consumerism and needing money but also having sure. money or not it. having money? I, I think it's... Hey, hey you! Oh God, you scared me! I was chilling. As was I. Your music is tolerable when it's instrumental. Our music's dope. It doesn't sell. You need a new stage name. What's wrong with Abstract? I can't market that. How about Fatty Puss? Fatty Puss? Alright. Hey, and, uh, and Fatty Puss was just toxic and masculine enough to really represent <laughs> just like the worst <laughs> version of a stupid rap name which seems to be like, yes. you know, yeah. rap names are generally <laughs> kind of stupid, you know. Yeah. Um, and, and, and so I, I really wanted to take on that role because it was important to me that, that that side of the coin was there. Yeah, I think that satire definitely comes through. Um, could you speak a little bit more about like the alter ego you create to voice Those, that yeah. satire? Mm -hmm. So uh, it starts off with abstract. Because that's right? been that's been my name. Mm -hmm. I just uh, that's like what I signed my artwork with, and that's mm -hmm. what you know my my pen name is. So I figured that would be my rapper name. But abstract's perfect because it's the kind of thing where it's just such a like. People don't get it, you know, it's hard to market, you can't really see it on a page. I spell yeah. it with like, yeah, There's like another the guy and already called Abstract. <laughs> there a very notable rapper called Abstract. Yeah, it's just, not, it's just not a marketable name in that way, so it's like, it's screaming for that rebranding. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and, it ne and we kind of always struggle with that, how we market and how we brand ourselves, how we don't really fit into any like niche, like we're not in like the rap scene, but we're also not in like the jazz scene. We're like, kind of like this weird platypus of music. <laughs> Like this, you know. Yeah. You mentioned in your release that you, Jerry, and Jamar all sing, and there are seven of you in the band. Can you tell me a little bit about, you know, the compromises you have to make, how you collaborate, oh, sure. how you get it all to come together? Because <laughs> it didn't affect anything. <laughs> Yeah, there were a couple songs like, can I see you? Yeah, of course. Um, nice. 
Like, yeah. Be Beautiful Brown was an example a of a song. Beat. There was a beat that Jim had called Alton Shul, you know, because the, the beats are always named something, and sometimes they keep it, and sometimes it's like the lyrics call for it. Because usually name. the way that it works is that they'll create a composition, musical composition, and then it'll get sent out to to the three of us rappers, not three of us rappers, and, mm -hmm. and we'll, we'll write something. And usually, like between me and Jerry, it was always like organic in the sense that he, for whatever reason, he would pick beats that I wouldn't pick. Mm -hmm. So we just pick different beats and write different material, and then we would just combine them. And then, but with Jamar on the uh, on the new front, we actually found that we had so much more content that we had multiple verses on one track, and yeah, we'd have to everyone like everyone was writing yeah. the same songs. Yeah, and was like, we keep have to like be like the gatekeeper or something, <laughs> you know, or like yeah. someone has to make the call. Like, well, like we can't put all these verses. Like Beautiful on this track. Brown had an entire song written entirely in Spanish mm -hmm. that then got cut because it couldn't. We couldn't. There find was no it. way to like glue them together, you know. Like yeah. they were writing like in the same spots of the song. And like, and just about we, entirely different things. Exactly. Like, we don't want to just put these together. Cause, we try because we, you know, cause there was there some are It's like yeah. the song needs to stand as like a concept still. So. And and that's really where compromise yeah, comes in. Oh baby, see you looking my way. See your pupil dilate. I ain't trying to violate, but you the only candy I can have you now or later. Make some mango and salami when you wake. Up. Can you tell me a little bit about uh, the creative process for the two music videos already released uh, for Money? So Junk Stew and Release. Well, it's funny because I remember Junk Stew. I wanted to make one for Pussy Money Bling, but at the time we didn't have enough money, or so I thought. So we were like, let's do something chiller and just for fun. And oh, yeah. we came up with the idea for Junk Stew. And originally I was like, that wants to be super chill, just us <laughs> chill. Like it's going to be a lot of fun, nothing too crazy, you know? And then as it started, I kept yeah. like coming up with more and more. <laughs> stack on it until it was pretty much the opposite it was like yeah. <laughs> You know, like the, the peak point of too much content. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. exactly. But that whole idea was like, yeah, we can't, we can't put this other video together. It would be too high budget. We gotta just like make something like for free, something low key. Then, yeah. and then, and then we put it together, like, and then we watch it. Like, oh. Renting out a nightclub, <laughs> like building, thinking? building an underground like set ring. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. Staying, yeah, it was, uh, and it was shot in two days uh, with no sleep in between. <laughs> I think we shot, we finished shooting the basement scene, and I was late for the next shoot at the nightclub to get the girls together. And so it was like, it was like a straight shot through. And so for new release, I was like, I want to simplify. <laughs> and also the song really was nice because it was uh, the first time that we have like, it was just, it was just, uh, it was a very, a chill, digestible song, mm -hmm. something a lot like more relaxed that Jim, both Jamar and Jerry were on. Especially compared to Junk Stew, it yeah. was like yeah. our most recent content was like just crazy stuff. So mm -hmm. I was like, we gotta put out something like yeah. to let people know this new album isn't gonna be like <laughs> our exclusively <laughs> like crazy saxophone flyer. So this was yeah. the album, <laughs> fully of just like chilling it out. And that was that was right around when Trump got elected president, mm -hmm. and it was like okay, so. How is our work relevant to like what's happening in the world right now? I was very much played with that, and I like looked at Junk Stew and I had released it, and I was like, I mean, like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you know, it's like crazy everything stuff, but like, do people need so, this so right real. now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. and We're so here we are making our goofy videos. Yeah, <laughs> so I was like, I want it to be simple, but I also want it like it speaks to like where where I'm at as an artist in the midst of all this, and it was kind of like that idea that when everything seems to be falling apart, you stay bright and just like keep it going so the whole metaphor there was it's cold it's gray it's new york city but we're so hot that we're in swimsuits yeah. and then we're gonna take a limo to the worst beach in brooklyn and just put down one one umbrella and one lawn chair just as long as you can just make it there and just put the thing down it doesn't matter what the circumstances are just like really work through the shit to just get your flag down uh, and so the relevance there was that you know in the midst of everything falling apart you could still keep it positive that's awesome so that's how that music videos are the same i set up a date everything's and i have to happen on that date and i always have three weeks less than what i need and it's always because my DP is going to South Korea for weeks, and I'm like, guys, we need a video in three weeks because if not, yeah, we don't like, have. I'm down to shoot something on this day, and it's like, well, better do it. And it's like, all right. <laughs> Wait, your DP one is who is that? Uh, that's Anthony King from Moon Culture Films. Oh, okay. Anthony King and AJ Seferless. I mean, the two of those guys are. They blow my mind. Like, yeah. they're just so good. The most talented. Not only that, but the most ambitious, and their their stuff is about integrity so much because they they just do the work. Like they work with us. 
with like no strings attached, just to make the just to make the content. You know? So it, that's how that's how we can just continue to create visual content because I can call him at three in the morning and be like, dude, I was staring at the ceiling and it looked so nice. Can you come over and film it? <laughs> I'll be like, I'm on my way. <laughs> my, my Anthony senses are tingling. I'm already going. Yeah. <laughs> like, don't worry, I already got the shot. Yeah. <laughs> You're killing it. He's always killing it, man. Cook Douglas's new album, Money, is out on Spotify and Apple Music and available at Jean-Louis' house uh, starting April 20th. Uh, and you can catch us live at Brunzeru at I think around 11 p.m. I know. Uh, we're the last we're the last ones on at Brunzeru. Come to the whole thing though. It's gonna be really fun. Brunzeru. It's gonna be. Oh yeah, April 28th. April 28th. Friday. Have CDs for sale. Also. Yeah. Have CDs yeah. and hats and other fun stuff. Yeah. Like, oh yeah. Dude, bubble blowers. Lots of booty shorts. Sounds <laughs> someday. 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 <laughs> For the Daily Targum, I'm Brittany Gibson signing off. Cool. Now I'm gonna get drunk tomorrow. We can like chill out. I have work. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we're in this car working. We're like we're yeah, passing out our doors, like album drawing. Catering. Hey, we're in a band. And an album with every order. <laughs> Cool. Yeah, it's served on our album. Oh my <laughs> Money. It's mad expensive for us. Okay. <laughs> oh, anyways. Oh my god. Wow, that's for my Haitians out there dancing to that comb five. It's the isotonic, megasonic, hydroponic. You can't stop it. Everything they wanted it got.